It's Mouth Mill time, and Bill Parker from St. Paul, Minnesota, drops me a quick note and says this. Dear Tasha, ha ha ha, I know you'll never read this, so I can write anything I want. Ha ha ha, he he. Well, I pretend to talk to you later. Sincerely, Bill Parker, a big fan who knows no one will ever read this. No one will ever read this, Bill? Well, I think it's time to teach Bill a little lesson. Hello, Betty, travel agent. I'd like to make a reservation. When I went up to Bill's doorstep, um, I knew that he was going to be surprised, but I didn't know exactly what his reaction was going to be. What the heck? <laughs> Bill, hi. When I saw her, I was both nervous and excited, and uh, I don't think you can think of words to describe it. Yeah, are you surprised? Uh, yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Bill invited me in and took a few minutes to catch his breath. Well, things finally settled down, and I was really looking forward to having Bill show me around his part of Minnesota. Bill and I started off at Murphy's Landing, an historic settlement village that dates back to the 1840s. When we first got to Murphy's Landing, we got on the trolley, and uh, Tasha and I were sitting together and just talking. I, this is when I really got to know her better. Our first stop was a house being built like the ones in the 19th century, out of sod instead of wood. Then we got to lend a hand building it. Go ahead. <laughs> well, it was really interesting because we learned so much about how they, how they lived back then, how it kept it kept them warmer than log houses, and they didn't have logs to build log houses with because they lived on the prairie. Next, we got to see a real blacksmith in action. The repair shop, I thought that was really neat because they recycled everything. Kind of like a lot of people want us to do today. So how hot does this get? The fire is 3,000 degrees, but I need 2150 to get the metal hot enough to forge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. This place really made us feel like we'd gone back in time 100 years. And all that time travel really makes you hungry. So we were ready for some lunch. And what's really cool is that everything is grown and cooked right here on the farm. But are you hungry? Yes, I'm yes, yes. You want to eat? <laughs> yes. Sit down. Okay. Sit down with the table. What I recognize here is chicken, potatoes, and the bread. What's really cool is this is bacon, apples, and onions, and this is fried green tomatoes. It looks really good. After lunch, we had a chance to hang out at the lake and get to know each other a little better. What do you like to do when you're not working? I like to hang out with my friends, do whatever. Go to the movies, um, horseback riding if I can, because I love horses, and um, just hanging out. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I've always had a dream of going to Paris. Ever since second grade, I've just thought I want to go to Paris. I'm not exactly sure why, I just think it's going to be very beautiful there, and hopefully I'll get to go someday. Who are your favorite performers? Um, I like Goldie Hawn, because to me she seems very independent, and she's a great actress. And I also admire Whitney Houston because of her singing ability. What do you like to do best on the Mickey Mouse Club? I like the dance numbers a lot. But I like every aspect, you know, I like acting, singing, dancing. But, oh, doing the videos. I love doing the videos. They're a lot of fun to do. We had our break. Now it was time to get some exercise. Now we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> Pretty good. This day was so special. It was, um, seeing Tasha show up at my doorstep and then spending the day with her was incredible. It was something I'll never forget. If you'd like to spend the day with one of the Mouseketeers, let us know. Write to us at Mouse and House, Mickey Mouse Club, Disney MGM Studios, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. And be sure to include your name, address, and telephone number.